What's happening, video world? What's up? What's up? How y'all doing today? I'm trying to get it together today, guys. Uh, oh, God, I got something to talk about today. Uh, I am really... I can't even explain it, guys. For those of you all that maybe have never seen me before, this is Knowledge by Nikki uh, with 1K. And I am really... I feel really off. I'm trying to just get this together, guys. My 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 things have been really tripping, okay? I am really, like, off. I, have you all ever woke up and just felt off? Just completely, just, you don't even know what it is. You just wake up with these weird emotions, and you, you don't even know what's going on. And uh, I have actually had this feeling for maybe the last month, guys. The, in the last month, I wake up every day feeling really strange, um, almost like a sickness type of strange. And it's, it's really weird. I wake up every morning and I have this weird feeling in my stomach. And a, a couple mornings, I felt like I wanted to vomit. And, it's, and, you know, and now this is the interesting part. I have stepchildren, so I have never actually birthed real children. So for those of you all that actually have birthed real children, maybe you can relate to what I'm talking about. Every morning I get up and, and certain things, smells, uh, uh, just certain things that I even eat. I find myself now, my taste buds are all weird and crazy. And, and I'm like, what is really going on? Because I'm definitely not having a real baby, but let me tell you what happened to me last night. Last night, was a very interesting night for me so I really didn't sleep uh, at all I'm not tired but I really didn't sleep at all and I was literally like saying God what is this I know something is happening here something is happening what what is really going on and so my mind is racing and and I, I know if there's anybody that can attest to maybe this weird sort of feeling that I'm having right now, you know, give me a little thumbs up or, or shoot me up a heart or something. Have you ever been in a place where you know something is about to be birthed? Something is happening here and and it's 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 a weird sort of sickness. It's almost like when you're having a real baby and you don't it's a great thing, you're happy about it. It's not a bad thing and you know something is about to be birthed, but you feel kind of ook and you feel weird and you you don't know what it is, even though you know something is happening that's a good thing. And, and I've been feeling like that, guys, for like the last month. So last night I had just come in. Me and my husband spent some time in Puerto Rico and I had just come back. And um, we I actually flew back. We flew back to Fort Lauderdale. My husband went home. I came over to Miami because I'm doing mentorship Miami, which is this is the thing, guys. This is where I'm going. Mentorship Miami is out of all the conferences, all the classes, all the shows, all the, I mean, I have done a lot of stuff. Back in the day, I did a little celebrity hair. I didn't, I have done it all. Mentorship Miami, which is the, sh it's been going on, I want to say 10 years now. It's Denise Michelle. That's where I am. I had to take a ride, guys, because I was feeling so weird. Um, Mentorship Miami is the show that literally changed the trajectory of my life let me tell you why I remember four I want to say four or five years ago I had stopped doing the show for a little while because I um, it was always a, a conflict with a schedule I always I had started doing something that was always the same time as this show so I stopped doing it for about three years I had gotten to a point in my life, and for those of you all that feel like you're here, I, I'm, I'm with you. Have you gotten to a point in your life where you feel like you've done well, at least with that that you know? Meaning, I've done as much as I know. I had hit a brick wall, meaning, okay, I've done good, but where do I go now? Where do I go from here? What what do I do now? I didn't, I didn't know how to move forward in a way that felt like it was a, what I call a natural movement. Everything I thought I was, nah, nah, that ain't it. So before I came to mentorship, there was a show that I did and that show canceled. And I've told Denise who runs this show this many times. And it, it's the truth, guys. That show canceled. 
maybe about two hours before Denise gave me a call. Denise said, Nikki, I know you normally are busy. I know you normally can't do this show, but is there any way that you can do this show for me this year? Because the person that teaches my business classes there, you know, whatever, she gave me the whole spiel. And guys, I said, isn't that something? The show that I typically do canceled two hours ago. And it was about three or four weeks before the event. So I said, I got it. I'm there. I knew at that cycle, for those of you all that have known me for a while, I absolutely hated social media. I don't care what nobody said. I wasn't doing it. I'm not, I'm not doing no, I'm not doing none of that. I ain't posting. I, but I had all the channels now. I had them all. I had LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all under knowledge by Nikki, even personal page. I had all of them, but I had never done anything with them. So I, I knew it was, I was having a baby then. I remember going through this exact same feeling then where I just woke up feeling sick. It's a weird sort of sick every single day. I'm like, what is, what is happening here? So I've told this story many times before, and I'm not going to go forever with telling the story, but when I came to mentorship, God allowed me to see a constant cycle of this happening, that happening. And, and now mind you, I've been doing this thing a long time. So I wasn't foreign to standing ovations that I wasn't foreign to these somewhat of what had happened, but it, it didn't happen like this guys. Something happened at this conference for me four years ago that subsequently changed my life. God showed me that what he gave me was bigger than what it was, than what I was doing with it. And he, I, he, he just through these different channels. He, it, it was just a whole arsenal of things. So my point is that day, those three days, they changed my life. I, and I'm one, God just show me what I need to do. Give me some script. And I, I don't, I don't struggle with the fear that a lot of you all do. I have to act. I'm actually on the other end of the spectrum. I'm so fearless that I've had to learn to take calculated risk and I've had to learn to not just jump off bridges and, and figure out how to make the parachute on my way down. I've had to learn how to just say, you know what, God, I'm not going to just do this. I'm going to, you know, do some research, some homework. So I remember this same exact feeling and it happened even all the way up to then. And I didn't even know I was coming back then. So God birthed something that year, that month, four years ago that changed everything in my life i started coaching programs conferences classes online courses I, the list goes on and it changed my life and god literally said this the direction i'm trying to get you to go so i want us to start walking in that okay so i've been i've been running i've been running guys so here i am again four years later and, I'm, and God has already started to change the trajectory of my life, even from what I started then into other things. So last night, I've been feeling weird all week. And last night, I just could not sleep. So I woke up last night. And, 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 and this is something I want to uh, uh, give you all is that you have to have something when you're feeling kind of off. You have to have something positive and productive that your default settings are automatically set to. Meaning, when you feeling weird, don't go do stupid stuff. Don't go do unproductive stuff or destructive stuff. So I automatically, this is what I do. When I get in these, I'm like, God, I don't know what's going on here, but I feel like I want to throw up. Something is happening. And I, I never had a real baby, but this got to be what, I, a matter of fact, I did at about 2 o'clock in the morning. I did have to stand over the toilet and I did throw up a little bit. And I'm like, you know, you try to tell yourself, is it what I ate? Is it, is this morning sickness? Is it, is it in the middle of the night sickness? I don't know what it is. So I turned on my default setting is to always turn on worship music. That's my default setting. I don't want to hear hooping and hollering. I don't even want to hear praise dancing. I just want to hear God speak to me in a quiet voice. So I turned on, I went to my phone and I put on Tasha Cobbs. I think I got every CD she's ever made. I put on Tasha Cobbs and this is the thing that's amazing. I put on Tasha Cobbs and then my phone went off and I'm like, what happened? So then I opened my phone up and then I went 
you know, automatically some of us, we go to Facebook and see what's going on. I went to Facebook, guys, and it was a minister. I have zero clue on what his name was, who he was, but he was talking about exactly what I'm feeling. He was talking about when you're in that space and God is trying to birth something in you and and you just like, God, what is this? Because it, it just feels weird. And, and I'm in the same place where he changed the trajectory of my life. Uh, four years ago and and I'm like okay God is this something again because I remember I remember that and so I'm sitting here and I threw up a little bit and and I said okay God and I turned the music on then again it went off I listened to this guy and then I what I do my default is I have to bring down noise I just got still this is like two o'clock in the morning so I woke up I sat on the side of my bed I said God I don't know what is happening here and and all I want you to do is just make me, uh, uh, let me be prepared for it. Let me see it. Let me feel it. Let me hear it. Uh, just let me be open to receive whatever it is that you got for me. Cause it's something. And I remember feeling like I was about to have a baby before. And I'm like, this is, it's a, I don't want to say it's awful, but it's a weird sort of feeling. And, and so after I prayed that prayer, guys, I went, I, I got up maybe three hours later and I'm a morning person I got up and I felt better and I'm standing there and I, I, I was in the mirror and I said you know what I got to teach this evening I'm actually doing something before the conference and so this is what happened God when I'm in these spaces he always lets me know I'm on the right track so I'm getting ready to do this money matters conference that was the reason I went to San Juan to set up the conference get a little R&R &R. When I woke up this morning, I didn't check my email. That's also one of the things I typically check before I get up. And I woke up this morning and I think now a conference that I haven't even really put out there for that long. Guys, I woke up this morning and I had 10 people. You hear me? 10 people that overnight signed up for the conference. Overnight, just went on and signed up. And I looked at it, I'm like, wow. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is, and, and it's that thing with the money thing that I know I need to help people. I've been going back and forth with, am I trying to help people that don't want help? Am I? And that's what the struggle was, guys. Sometimes when you're coaching for anybody out there that coaches and you feel like you, you're talking to people and they're not hearing you and they're not doing anything you say and and I'm like, God, am I choosing the wrong group to help? Is this, I don't think what I'm doing is bad, but I, I don't know. Is this the group that I need to help? Do I need to leave the salon industry alone and let my things be better served over here? And, and I'm going through this whole mental, just all over the place. And when I got up and I saw all of those people that had signed up for a money conference, guys, not hair, not Money, people that want to learn how to get the financial aspect of their businesses, their lives right. And mind you, those are the only things that I'm teaching at this conference. I'm teaching only money stuff. And Denise has been so gracious. I got class. I, I, I looked on the roster today. I said, God, I'm, I'm in class all the time, basically. And I said, God, I, I okay. He let me know that the industry that I love, the industry that I chose, that I'm on the right path, that I'm on the right path, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, and this is the journey that he wants me on. So, my default settings also is I like to drive. For those of you all that have been rolling with me on these videos forever, y'all know I used to do them all in the car, I'm in the car now. I love to drive. I, the, driving helps me think, it helps me process. I ride in the car with no music on, and I'm riding in the car with no music on. And let me tell you what happened. I, I'm not a Starbucks junkie anymore, but this morning I felt like God, I just, I, I need, I need a Starbucks. I need a Starbucks because I, I felt myself coming down. I felt the morning sickness going away because God is speaking to me that what the pastor, whoever this was, he was speaking exactly what I'm feeling and letting me know that it, you, it's, it's, it's cause something you about to have a baby. You, you going through some labor pains and you going through some things and you just trying to muscle through until you can birth this baby and figure it out how to do right and eat right and, and all the things that women have to go through when they're trying to birth the baby. And so when I got up <coughs> this morning, you know, I was like, I was back and forth. Am I going to go out? At first, I was like, I feel like I need to drive, but okay, let me just go get some Starbucks. And then I came down to the lobby and they had just opened some months ago. I didn't know 
a, 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 a cafe that sells Starbucks. It tastes exactly like what I normally drink. So I said, okay, God, and I'm, and I'm in the car now. And as I'm riding through beautiful Miami, I'm just saying to myself, God, I understand now. I understand because every time I feel this way, you give me a word, you give me some, some something from somewhere that lets me know that the baby I have is healthy. There's nothing wrong with this baby. I just need to be prayerful. I need to stay connected to people who also understand my vision. I need to also be careful was one of the things that the minister said, said which I know that. I need to be careful about where my vision is shared and where my things are landed and and these are all the things the minister was talking about that I, I got it I knew it but I needed to be told again and I needed to to feel like okay this babe this morning sickness this thing that I'm feeling it is perfectly normal it's okay and it's no fluke that I felt this way so strongly four years ago today and I said okay God whatever you have for me today I receive it I'm gonna roll with it so what I did was I got up and I went into gear. There were some other things I needed to get printed, some other things I needed to get done for this money conference, for this, uh, this not just the money conference next year, but also I'm teaching like five or six money classes this, at this conference. And so I got hands on, I got look and learn, I got everything. So God told me, and what I'm saying to you all is that when you know you're about to birth a baby, the goal is to get prepared. The goal is to, okay, let me prepare. What do I need to do? Women that have had babies have told me they start walking they because they want to be able to have an easy labor. And then this. so I started driving. That's what I did. I started driving because <coughs> I need to be prepared. I need to, I'm actually, even though I put things to bring on the list for the people that are coming, I said, you know what? Just in case there's some in the wind that have to sign up on the spot, I'm getting ready to go to the store and I'm going to buy all the things that they need for the class. So anybody who may not be even at the space that I'm at that needs to be more prepared, I'm going to make sure that I provide them with whatever they need in order to do this in case they on a fly want to take this class. So I'm out rolling, guys. And I wanted to share that with you all because I feel I feel great now. I feel I know something is changing. I know something is turning and I know God has his hand all in it. And I just want to thank God and thank all of you who have rolled with me forever and ever. Even before I started doing social media, um, I just I, I love the fact that my audience has loved me and, and I love you back. And I am getting ready to go in here to the Hilton Blue Lagoon Miami Airport Hotel and I am getting ready to do everything that God has put in me to do. And my goal is to change lives, to change the way you think, to change the way you live, to change the way you love and treat others. To I am a change agent. That's what I am. Everything I do is to promote change. So if you are anywhere in the Miami area and you want to get in on this life-changing conference, it is, I tell her every time I talk to Denise, you did well. God used you well and I have seen miraculous things happen here guys I am just honored to be a part of it I thank God that he uses this conference it's a spiritual conference we have revival we we do all kind of stuff we have 5 a.m. prayer it is a conference that helps all of us and any of us that have disconnected from our spiritual beginnings or or God and, and whatever you want to call God. God. Mine is Jesus. I know who my God is. But it is a way for us to realize that only what we do for him is going to last. When I come back here, it lets me know that everything that has happened in the last 12 months was for his glory. And everything that I do, I do to help build his kingdom. Spiritually, financially, professionally, Personally, my coaching is a combination of all of those things because it is necessary. I don't care how well you do hair, how much money you make. If you allow yourself to be disconnected from your purpose, from the, the, the person that, that birthed you here and that allowed you, he, he knew what we were going to do before we got here. He knew that. And now we're trying to figure it out. And I just thank God every day that I 
wake up and and every I asked Denise I remember when she was restructuring this conference I asked her I said you know am, am I coming she was like girl you are a staple you 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 here just just know that and I thank God for that type of favor guys so I'm looking for lives to be changed especially mine again and uh, I'll see you all around. I'm getting ready. I, I feel good now. I feel like the morning pains kind of went away a little bit. God showed me what I, and he always does. He always says, look, let me give you something to help you understand. You, you, you doing, you're doing okay. You're going in the right direction. And he did that. When I woke up and saw all those people signed up for a conference that don't happen till next year, I said, and it's about money, guys. It ain't about no hair. It ain't about nothing. That conference is about money. And God said, I got you. I got you. You're going to be all right. You're doing what I've ordained you to do. So I thank God. I thank you. And I do believe they're going to be streaming some of the conference. So uh, just next level concepts. Uh, Denise Michelle, Mentorship Miami. I don't know what it's under on Facebook. But you all just try to go into all of those. Click the notifications if you haven't already. So you can catch some of this. If you are anywhere, this conference is tonight we do some stuff sunday monday if you anywhere where well, you can drive get here okay just get here get here it is a awesome conference uh, again i just look forward to birthing this baby and just raising the baby well and uh i just pray that you all will love my baby as much as i love you so i'm getting ready to get out of here because i gotta go to the apple store guys y'all already know i gotta get some before they so i'm gonna get there and get on the list so I will see you all later today and I will probably be streaming a little bit of my classes. So you all stay logged on to me today, uh, really tomorrow. I'll be streaming more tomorrow. So you all stay logged on, get your notifications, but I'll see you soon. Deuces.